Darkwind. And honestly, man, I kind of want to lead off like Arctazult here. I think Arctazult Solgaleo is not a bad lead. Arctazult Solgaleo will bring the Ninetales in the back and uh, Lando doesn't seem that bad either. But Cali could also be very, very useful. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm leaning towards Cali. Is Hail good? No. Hail is not good. That's why we're making it a challenge to get to Master Ball with it this season. Do I watch the stream or the video on Tailwind? Uh, video on Tailwind, very quick summary. Uh, Prankster Tailwind gives you four turns. Regular Tailwind gives you three. Almost no reason to not use uh, regular, or almost no reason not to use Prankster. Very sad, makes me sad. Okay, as long as it's not like Focus Sash Crobat, this is actually a very solid first turn for me. Which, for all I know, it is Focus Sash Crobat, and then I just get to be sad. What's the proposed fix? Make Tailwind activate the turn after you use it. That way it's always three turns. Just revert Tailwind to how it used to be. Alright, don't be Sash. Because then you get Tailwind up. <laughs> then you get a whole... Four, actually, he does get four turns of Tailwind because it is faster than his Mon next to him. Let's see if I can just prevent that outright. Do you think it'd be possible to build a team with Wobbuffet? Uh, maybe. I could look into it. It's probably not going to be the easiest thing to build around, but it's possible. Also, it looks like my in-game audio is a little loud. One shot? I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. You're Sash. <laughs> Don't be Sash. Be goggles. Be the optimal item. This thing's bulky. You don't need to run a sash on him. I guess for a lucky it makes sense. Alright, there's the quake. Uh, that's fine. Because I do have a sash on my Ninetales. So I will be able to get off a Aurora Veil here. And since it's not goggles, it goes down anyways. But I really, really wanted to prevent the tailwind out, right? I am going to take a lot of damage from this incoming guy, though. Hey, Robert, thank you so much for the, for the wishing me luck. Ooh, you could be very annoying to me. You could be very annoying. Do I ignore you? I almost want to ignore you. I think my play here is I'm going to max guard turn one. Do I click the best move in the game? That's the question, because I can click the best move in the game and pretty much win. I, I think I get more value out of Aurora Veil, though. Next turn, if I get the chance, I'll click the best move in the game. But I will max guard here. So hopefully I got the, the play right. I don't know if they're going to double into me. I don't think they'll double into me. You should always be focusing down Solgaleo here. Alright, there's one. One would imagine he like Will-O-Wisp. So I should hypothetically get this off. Don't Electroweb. You definitely don't want to Electroweb. Will-O-Wisp. Stinky. Thank you. Okay. So get the veil off. Very nice. And honestly, I think I can win this if I... Uh, how do I do this? I think I have to max Quake you. And we can attempt to Hypnosis onto you. I'm fairly certain this isn't going to work. Steel Spikes. So they are going to be going for the Will-O-Wisp. 
However, their Tailwind will be running out in a turn or so. And their Life Orb instead of Weakness Policy, so I'm kind of cool with this exchange. I'll be able to turn on my, uh, my Weakness Policy in a minute. Watch the miss. We couldn't get the Aaron Zang special? Come on, I wanted the Aaron Zang special. Alright, that does practically nothing, but I'm not terribly concerned. Let's get in the Cali. As long as it's not like Dark Pulse or Shadow Ball on this Rotom, which they don't really have the room to run it this then, uh, this season, I should be fine. Alright. Um, there's one turn left to Tailwind, right? I got three turns of Veil, they got bit more of Tailwind. Let's max Quake into you. And actually this turn I'm pretty much forced to go for Astro Barrage. I need that damage. Ally switch? Oh, that's not great. Aaron gave you a shout out in your Regirock game? Yeah, I did see that. Very Pog. That's not going to do that much. Glad I barraged. Ally Switch very annoying though. I cannot tell a lie. Ally Switch is very annoying. I should be able to pick this one up though. I'm Jolly Max Speed on my uh, Solgaleo, so Astro Barrage into like um, into Sunsteel Strike should do it. You didn't know it could ally switch? Dude, like, everything in this game can ally switch. <laughs> everything in the game can ally switch. It's very sad. They should not have done that to this game. It made me very sad. Um, yeah, I'll just double down you. There isn't much of a reason not to. Astro Barrage. Whatever lives, I outspeed and KO it. I get a plus two. That's pretty much game. And that should put us in Master Ball, I think. Hail stopped. I still have, like, a ton of defense in this this entire team. Especially since we still have, like, two turns of Veil. Honestly, I really love Aurora Veil. I think Aurora Veil is very underrated. Obviously, with dual screens, prankster mons like Grimstar running around, you can just, you know, get budget Aurora Veil. But having it just go up all at once is very nice as well. There's the Zacian. I don't care. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna wreck it. Uh, there's no reason to Earthquake. I can just go for my moves. Sunseal Strike. Astro Barrage. They can't live both of these hits. I also... Actually, I can technically Earthquake here. Just to be safe. Because I'm not gonna KO my own Calyrex. At minus two. Yep. Is the pace for this team somewhere? Uh, it's in the video I used it in. Nice. Alright, good game. But that would have been nice. That would have been very fun. Steve? By the way, we, uh, another... Why are we facing, like, double steals today? It's so weird. Um, let me think. I suppose for this matchup, there isn't too much of a reason not to lead off Lando. I actually really like like Lando Sogalio. It's pretty versatile. Uh, Lando Sogalio, and I'll bring Hale in the back. I actually don't see much of a need for the Calyrex in this game. How's the in-game volume? I feel like it was a little bit too loud game one, so I turned it down. All 
All right, Grim Snarl Dialga. Um, if it's Fake Tears Dialga, we're like set. It doesn't matter. I think my play here is probably just to double down. I'm somewhat tempted to like Swords Dance, to be honest, but I know that that's that's not very smart. That would be that would be what we call in the industry uh, a big dumb. That'd be a big dumb. Let me think. What's the downside to just just Dynamaxing right now? Not much of a downside if we're being real. Max Airstream, hit ya. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, so the reason I'm doing this is because if they're Thunder Wave, so Galio's gonna get paralyzed anyways, I don't really care. Um, and if they also Dynamax, which I don't think they are this turn, they might just go for TR, which I'm kind of okay with. Um, actually, no, they're not gonna TR. This is like a full offense. They're going to Dynamax. Uh, but if they go for something like a... Why why is the move slipping my my tongue? Uh, Max Wormwind. I still get my plus one. Or I still get, I still get like, my, my neutral. Since, uh, for one, Solgaleo ignores it with full metal body. Uh, and two, I have a white herb. Fake out? Yes! And that's another reason, because they're probably going to fake out that slot anyways. But, unfortunately, you know. That means that this airstream is pretty much wasted. Oh, hello, Invisible Sash? No, very visible Sash. Hello? What is your set? I was like, there's no way that's a focus sash. And then it was. That was weird. I don't like that. Go home. I didn't like that at all. Can you Wormwind me? That'd be very nice. That'd be very, very poggers. Steel Spike, that's fine. Should tank it pretty well. I lied. I lied very much. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you. All right, that's Life Orb. Kind of cool with that. They do have a defense boost, but um, I have a permanent speed boost, which is much nicer. And I, I can also get myself special defense boosts, which is very, very awesome. You are going to be annoying, and I want to make sure I deal with you first. Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, I don't want to have to deal with Urshifu. But it can't be Sash, is the thing. There's no way it's Sash. I think I just Earthquake and Max Airstream here. Hey, almost good enough. Thank you so much for all the subs. They're going to go for a Protect, but that's fine. Like, I can tank a Sucker Punch much better than I can tank anything else. And I'm going to have permanent speed on my on my Solgaleo. Thank you so much for all the subs. Did you get plus one since it's your birthday? I got plus one age. That's a thing. All right, now my Solgaleo will permanently outspeed their whole team. Uh, I can just send in the... I can send in the, the Ninetales here. It'd actually be pretty decent. Max Hailstorm, okay. I'll take it. Yeah, detect technically optimal, but I don't know. I don't know. In a, in a format with, like, such powerful moves, I think I'd prefer to have, like, 16 protects rather than 8. It's, it's a matter of preference, technically. It's not always strictly optimal. Alright. The question is, do I go for the best move in the game? Dude, the Arctazult kind of sweeps in the end. If I can if I can play this right, the Arctazult absolutely sweeps. I'm gonna go Ninetales. Arctazult will absolutely sweep the end game. I'm gonna go for the Veil. And I'm gonna go for the Sunsteel Strike, because I think we should be able to live whatever. They should have to Sucker Punch here, which is why I'm kind of concerned. Uh, let's do it. Uh, it's it's kind of iffy. Sucker Punch? Okay, give me my policy. Ow, you are doing way too much. That had to be a crit, right? It wasn't, that's concerning. That's quite concerning. However, we can still win with the best move in the game. We can still definitely win with the best move in the game. Alright, that's definitely going to KO. Watch him have, like, Steel Spike to my Ninetales. That'd be a throw. 
Get the veil off. Oh, he steel spiked. I'd consider that a little bit of a throw. If we're being real, if we're being real, bit of a throw. Because I absolutely always, like, just have to deal with this, um, this Dialga. So my Earthquake is just always going to be my play. And I, like, yeah, I should always be able to guarantee, like, get two Earthquakes off. There's the Zacian. Or is my play to target the Zacian and go for the Hypnosis? That's, that's a, another questionable off, questionable out. Uh, let me think. We saw they definitely have Wormwind. There's no way they they don't have like Protect on. There's no way they they have Protect on Dialga, considering everything we saw. And their Life Orb will KO me afterwards. I think I have to go for this, or it should KO them afterwards. Uh, I'm kind of iffy on this. This is really iffy. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna earthquake. Could be a throw. Could be a throw. Scout protect. I'm too scared. I just want to get rid of this Dialga. I need to get rid of the Dialga. All right, Dialga's gone. I should win. I should always win now. Because we still have the Arc result in the back as a win con. Critical hit in the Dialga. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, and that is 100% within range of Bolt Beak. So, let's go with the uh, the fun way to win. I'm going to Wild Charge into Bolt Beak so Bolt Beak gets the KO. Because Wild Charge certainly won't do it. Goes for the double. I don't know if it'd save him because I still have like another turn of hail after this. Behold, the electric type wombo combo. Can B Blade take out the Zolt? Uh, yeah, probably, but it doesn't matter. I'm choice banded. Nice. Yeah, regardless, they would have like, K they would have gotten KO'd from hail. Disbarred. Like a like a lawyer, that's the joke. We're lawyers. Um, ooh, yeah. I really like. I you know what? This is my hot take. I think that Calorization is gonna win worlds. I think Calorization is actually a very very solid combination, as far as like balance team goes. Uh, so it, it can be pretty frustrating to face. I think I have to go so Galio Calorex here. Um, and also thank you so much for the hype train. We reached it. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Uh, do I want Nine Tails? I think I want Lando Ninetales, but probably not Arc Desult. You know, screw it. We're, we're gonna bring Arc Desult. We're gonna bring Arc Desult. We need the hail. We need the hail. We, you guys might not believe me, but I believe me. We need the hail. Darmanitan. I guess Darmanitan getting Volt Tackle would break it because it has perfect coverage then. But that's Darmanitan. <laughs> Cinderace? Yeah, I think Cinderace would break it. Zerora? I think Zerora should get it. Hey, thank you, Babine. Alright, there is... This is kind of a perfect lead, I'm not gonna lie. But it's only a perfect lead if I outspeed. It's only a perfect lead if I outspeed, and I have faith that I am going to outspeed. We're both timid max speed. That's, that's the deciding factor here. You guys have faith? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Be bum. Okay, that's how it's pronounced. Believe in Incineroar 2? I believe in Incineroar 2. We might have never, ever, ever gotten one of these first try, but I do believe in Incineroar 2, and you should too. 
I believe in Incineroar too. If you don't, you're bad. Watch in in post match, we're gonna we're gonna watch this, and it's gonna be like Scarf, and we never had a chance. It's gonna be Scarf, and we never had a chance. That's what's gonna happen. It's my birthday. They have to give me this. They have to give me this. All I want for my birthday is a speed tie win. Bad bum. Okay. Check it out. We win. Good game. Go home. Shake my hand. <laughs> Was it suboptimal? Yes. Was it fun optimal? Yes. We win. Unless they're like burning jealousy, I don't think we can lose this. Goodbye. They weren't in Cinewar 2. They would have lived that if they were in Cinewar 2. Hey, muchos gracias. All right, check it out. Not burning jealousy. Darkest Lariat. Cope, I'm gonna live. Oh wait, that ignores defense. Never mind. I was gonna say it ignores my defense boost. I don't live that. <laughs> okay. Uh, luckily, I can just go Nine Tails here. I go Nine Tails here. Um, I have my Sash, so I can do quite a bit. If it's Zacian, I just ignore the Zacian and go for the Incineroar. And if it's anything else, I am going to click Hypnosis and make them very mad. I'm going to make them big mad. Rillaboom? I don't know. I don't know if that beats me. I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't know if that beats me. Uh, I would definitely opt more for the... Uh, I'm going to opt in for the... Um, what's it called? I'm opting for the uh, the the Veil in this case. Because I can just always Quake the Incineroar. There's no way they didn't bring Zacian. I believe they don't have a switch into this either. They have no switch in. Uh, and I can go for my Veil. If Incineroar loses... If Incineroar 2 loses to anything, it should be Incineroar run. That, that is true. That is true. Alright, they're going to Dynamax the Rillaboom here. I don't really care. Because I get my veil off and they, they should struggle to, to KO this thing now. Since we got that steel spike off, like nothing really is too threatening. Alright. Fake out? Nah, dude, you forgot. You switched that in, uh. You switched that in like uh, turn one, stinky. Max Quake? Oh, he was Shooka Berry. That shouldn't make much of a difference. This is plus two. I think this still KOs. After the hail damage? Oh, no. Not quite. I'm fine with that, though. I'm going to click the best move in the game in a turn. That's going into Solgaleo. Shouldn't do much. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> that's not doing it. <laughs> that's not gonna do it, bud. Okay. So I mean, I'm I'm really not concerned. Um, I think my play here is just always gonna be to go for the funny hypnosis. And I actually want to steel spike. Because there's no special attackers I'm scared of now. Funny Hypnosis. 60% chance to win. Not really. I think we're already in a position where they have a lot of trouble breaking the Solgaleo. Well, I guess the uh, the Grassy Train could be annoying. Grassy Train could be annoying once uh, this thing's gone. Alright, we missed the Hypnosis, but we have our Sash still, so we're like, fine. We still get an opportunity to do that. Max Quake, that's going to go right into my guy again. Should do even less this turn. Yep. Uh, next turn, I always go for Icy Wind if the Zacian comes out, because I think they're going to want to double. And I'm going to permanently lower their speed, which will allow my Solgaleo to be faster, because 
Uh, if you didn't realize, uh, we're not faster than Zacian right now. We bulldozed everything in the field except for Ursogalio, but Zacian was not in the field at that time. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's go for the uh, the Icy Wind, which should wrap up the game. Just Icy Wind Protect. I don't have to worry about anything like, um, what's it called? Like Max Strike lowering my speed. Hopefully we don't miss, because that'll make this endgame a little bit more difficult. Zashin protects. I'm going to protect as well. That should be fine. I'm fairly certain Sacred Sword behind screens uh, won't KO me, because Sacred Sword doesn't ignore screens, right? It only ignores, like, defense boosts. Alright, maintain my Sash and I'm good. Sash is maintained. I think we're I think we're set. Yeah, I think we're set. Because after two Icy Winds, my uh, Arc is at Wild Speed this thing, and I, I'm guaranteed at least one. And my play is just going to be to Sunsteel Strike Zacian. An icy wind. I guess I could also double and we'd still win. But icy wind's probably safer. Sacred sword shouldn't beat me without a crit. And even then, the crit's going to be real close. There it is. Nope, not quite. Alright, this I think should do it. Depends how bulky they are. Freeze? I can't freeze with Icy Wind. <laughs> nice. Okay, that just barely doesn't do it, but they went for the Solgaleo here, so if I... Oh, we still live. We still live, so now I just outspeed. And... We're both gonna lose our, our legendaries here. Isn't Secret Sword a special attack? Yeah, Secret Sword is special. Sacred is not. Alright, we're good. I lock Choice Band, Ice Go Crash, and I get the W. Ice go crash. Should be slower than me now. Um, I guess I just freeze dry. Nice. Very pog. Very pog right there. Nice. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that match. I think Icy Wind on Ninetales is, like, really, really, really nice, especially with Sash Ninetales. Like, if I was running Light Clay, this this team wouldn't get nearly as much uh, mileage off of it. That's got to be bulky, right? Yeah, it had bulk. Uh, there was no way it could live without that bulk. Alright, 882. 